Rain is forecast in just over 10 minutes time. Rain in 10 minutes. Let's have your take on it. Your qualifying pace didn't put you at the front of the grid. Will this be a... How do you feel this season is going for you? Is the car competitive? Appreciate your time. Welcome along then to the Belgian Grand Prix, the race that gave us the maiden victory for the Jordan team in 1998 and in the same team, the phenomenal debut of a young Michael Schumacher. There's always something special around one of the many corners of this fan favorite circuit. Spa-Francorchamps today, a circuit that spans 4.35 miles. There are tons of elevation changes along the way too. 19 corners making up this circuit with nine of those to the right and the remaining 10 to the left. This track is a great one for fans of pure speed. The average lap speed comes close to a whopping 145 miles an hour. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start. And this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Gasly, Bottas, Sergio Perez and Sainz, Leclerc, Matsushita, Stroll and Esteban Ocon, Moore, Vettel, George Russell and Ricardo, Giovinazzi, Sonoda, and Guan Yu Zhou and Mick Schumacher, Mazepin and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going.
a difficult race then on one of the all-time classic circuits, but they persevered to take the win here today. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Let's see how the driver's standings have changed. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Moore. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Red Bull pull further ahead in the standings. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. We can try and renegotiate for a better deal with our current team, or approach someone else.
Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend.